Versace Gallery has been transformed. This is Collect, the only global art fair dedicated exclusively to craftsmanship. Whether you're looking to pick up a piece of glassware, ceramics or something more textured, 40 galleries and more than 400 artists have work on show. So a lot of the art market are kind of really looking to craft now and really understanding actually it's hugely credible and the artists themselves aren't then being defined, they are not sort of, they are exploring in their own ways and it's now appearing in some of the auction houses and some of the bigger the museums are taking stuff on and actually collectors are really understanding this is something that is a beautiful thing to be part of and, and, and collect, hence the name. One of those galleries is the China Design Centre. Based in London, it works with Chinese artists still living in China, giving them an international platform and hopefully changing perceptions about what craft in Asia means. Uh, all the pieces, they have some Chinese culture or story behind this. Uh, this Moon, moon Palace, it's, uh, the idea is uh, the, uh, in China they have the story how the people can live in the moon. It's a very, very beautiful story. Uh, this also has the idea from the Chinese garden, the moon gate. So people can through the gate and live in the moon. <laughs> For Collect, it's been an uphill battle. For a long time, crafts in all their forms were not seen as real art. But that's changing as the lines between art and craft start to blur. Todd Merrill Studios is one of 11 new entrants this year, and he's showing a range of high-end work, from wooden chairs to intricate lighting. So craft has now become respected, and um, high-end architects and decorators are buying craft-based objects. And there's a very new appreciation for craft. And I think that it's, um, it's balancing out the mass-made material world around us, and people are looking back towards the artists themselves and people who make with their hands. Um, and so people who um, can afford things to be made by somebody's hands because these are very labor-intensive pieces are going out and purchasing them. And I think you see that affecting the whole design world. And then there's Collect Open, a platform for 15 artists to show conceptual works. Jeweler and designer Sarah Paymanpour has created this gold bejeweled hijab and wants more conversations in the West about the Islamic world. I always try to modernize the motifs that I see in the architecture, in the beautiful mosques in Iran and in all those mosaics uh, and the colors. I use a lot of colors in my jewelry, a lot of colorful gemstones, because I would like to bring some of that, that element of colorful design from back home and modernize it. So you can say that it is a mix of East and West. Whether it's glass blowing, silver smithing or ceramics, traditional crafts are thriving, accounting for an estimated four and a half billion dollars every year to the British economy. And here at Collect, more than 400 artists have taken these traditions and modernized them, ultimately creating a future antiques. Miranda Atti, TRT World, London.